The ground around a rising supervolcano in Italy rose as much as 66 feet 20 meters, before its previous eruption, a new study reveals. In 1538, the ground beneath Campi Flegre, near Naples, swelled to the point of breaking and then broke, burying the Roman-era village of Tripergole under a torrent of muddy ash and lava that became the new mountain Monte Nuovo. As the volcano shows new signs of unease, the scientists behind a new study are seeking to better understand what happened during the most recent volcanic eruption in history. They published their findings March 29th in the journal Geophysical Research Letters. Campi Flegre meaning, burning fields, or, fields of fire is a vast and mostly hidden network of 24 craters and structures that stretch from the vast caldera opposite Mount Vesuvius on the western edge of Naples, all the way to the nearby Bay of Pozzuoli. More than 1.5 million people live above the vast underground volcanic complex, and half a million people live inside the seven-mile-long caldera, which formed after a powerful eruption 39,000 years ago. The volcano has been volatile since the mid-20th century, with increased activity in the 1950s, 1970s, and 1980s. Another period of unrest began in 2005 and is still ongoing. Since then, the ground level beneath Pozzuoli, a town located on the roof of a volcano, has risen by 4 inches every year, resulting in an elevation change of 13 feet since the 1950s. Campi Flegre also continues to experience small earthquakes, with more than 600 detected in April, breaking the largest monthly earthquake total ever recorded in the region. To better understand today's volcanic rumblings, scientists are turning to the past, incorporating data from geological, archaeological and historical sources into a mathematical model that estimates magma flow beneath the surface of Campi Flegre. It turns out that the eruption was preceded by violent ground deformation which first affected the Pozzuoli area, then localized in the area of the future eruption hole, reaching a height of 20 meters, said Trasadi. Volcanic gases have seeped into the Earth's crust deep beneath the surface of Campi Flegre, causing it to stretch, buckle and slip giving rise to earthquakes. Once enough gas accumulated, the Earth's crust ruptured, causing a four-mile-deep column of magma to explode toward the surface, the researchers said. The eruption was then followed by a period of subsidence and a period of re-elevation, before the volcano finally became dormant until the 20th century. If Campi Flegre re-enacts its largest known eruption 39,000 years ago, it could hurl molten rock and volcanic gas into the stratosphere, generate tsunamis 100 feet high and send plumes of sulfur and toxic ash that could plunge the earth into a crater. Years of global winter killed plants and caused mass extinctions. But researchers found that explosions from Campi Flegre were not always so powerful. Only one hundredth of the magma that had accumulated inside the volcano before the 1538 eruption exploded to the surface. Meaning the eruption can easily subside without the volcano harnessing its full destructive power.